welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today's video is of course a zara haul it's one of my favorite shops in fact it's probably my favorite shop especially this time of the year when they start to get the autumn bits in so i have gone all out with loungewear and comfy cozy sets if i'm not in loungewear I'm in PJs all day. <laughs> How cute is this mug? Home bargains. £1.49 if you're interested. Anyway, welcome back. If you're new here, then hello. My name's Freya. I hope you stick around and subscribe if you like what you see. I have two big boxes to open up with you guys. But before I do, I just wanted to firstly thank today's video sponsor, Casetify. If you've never heard of Casetify before, it is an online retailer that sells all different phone cases, of which I have a few to share with you today. Today. So before I show you the cases that I picked out from the website, I just wanted to mention that I do very kindly have a discount for you guys. All you need to do is go to casetify.com forward slash Freya Farrington in order to save 20% off your new favorite phone case today. I will of course leave the direct link in the description box for you to simply click through and start shopping. My phone is the 11 Pro Max. So I have four new cases. They have such a wide variety of designs but they also have a variety of case types so if you're wanting more protection then you can go for the impact I actually went for the impact the impact ones are drop test approved they are military grade they are going to protect your phone this one's actually my favorite and it is the minimal design the all black and i've just had it personalized with freya if you can see i wanted the black on black because i thought it was quite minimal and very subtle so i love that and you know my style is very minimal anyway so it's no surprise that i went for a second minimal case and again, had this one customized. So this is just the frost, it's basically clear. You can interchange the color of the edging that you want. And I went for this very cool kind of font. Again, you can choose the font you want. I love the customized cases. I think they'd make for a great gift idea as well. This one has, it's got the protective film on it, but because I'm not gonna use it just yet, I might as well keep that on. It's got the little crescents and stars on, which I thought was so cute. And then last but not least, I thought this one, is a little fun for autumn. So it's a girl, she is wearing a jumper, backpack, looking all cozy, coffee in hand, and it says you can do it. But today I am going to pop on the black one. And let's do it. <sighs> and we're safe. If you are someone like me who's a bit clumsy, then I would recommend the Impact Cases. Thank you once again to Casetify for kindly sponsoring today's video, and now on to the haul. Okay, let's start with the Zara home box now. There is actually only one item in here, and it's not even classed as homeware. It's a cozy dressing gown. I saw this online and loved the colour of it because this to me is the perfect neutral kind of beige that you can wear and not worry about tan or makeup too much because I love the idea of a white fluffy white company robe but the practicalities of that are not the best and I probably have to wash it every other day and it's in that toweling fabric so it's not super super soft it's ideal for like getting out the shower that kind of material so it's described as ecologically grown cotton bathrobe I did size up to a large in this one because if you need anything to be oversized it's going to be a dressing gown it was 39.99 and it's my new best friend. Okay, now moving on to the main big parcel from Zara. They did include two little perfume samples. I've never, I don't think I've ever got these before. I don't think so. This is from the Artisans Collection. Interesting. Thanks, Zara. And then just before I move on to fashion, I did pick up two kind of beauty products. The first one being a, another fragranced rinse-free hand gel, a nice little hand sanitizer that I can just throw in my car. And this one is in Vetiver Pamplemousse, which is, Pamplemousse in French is grapefruit. <laughs> So I think it's going to be kind of fruity. Jo Malone did a fragrance collab with them in reed diffusers, perfumes, colognes, and now hand sanitizer. And that was only 3 dollars for 75 mils. Then I also picked up this. Again, this was only 3 dollars and it is a eau de toilette refill. 
I didn't realize it was an Eau de Twilight refill. I was thinking it was a re-diffuser refill. So will this work as that? $3.99 worth trying out. I have an empty reed diffuser that I can see just over there so I might use this and see if it works. Okay first item of clothing. I feel like this is a bargain. It was only $29.99. I did pick it up in a size small and it's a very simple black tailored wool like long line coat. Very simple, quite good for transitional because it's not super thick. This one is much more lightweight than some of my winter coats. So that's probably why it's a little bit cheaper price point. It's made with at least 25% of recycled polyester. Love it. Zara can be hit and miss with their leather leggings. Leather leggings for me are an absolute must for this time of the year, all the way through to winter. I'd say three quarters of the year, I'm in leather leggings. So I did pick up a black pair and I also picked up the tan pair just for something a little bit different. The only thing is with their leather leggings in the past, they've been really ill fitting. But then having said that, I do have one staple pair that I still love. We'll see how I go with these. You'll see in the try on clips what I think or if I even get them on. I got them in a medium. They're only $19.99 and my all time favorite Topshop ones, 36 pounds ish but even that I think is a good price point for such a good staple but $19.99 if these are nice then they're amazing they've got the seams down the front as well which is a nice little detail and then the tan coloured are a little bit lighter than what I was thinking but I quite like them again in a medium same size same price of $19.99 and it's got the nice side zip which is my preference over button and zip at the front Oh, and it even has little zip closures at the bottom as well, I suppose, for ease and convenience of getting into them. That's not necessarily a good sign. That means they might be quite hard to get into. Then, before moving on to the loungewear sets, I did pick up a pair of boots. How beautiful are these? They are the perfect heel height. They're the perfect ankle height. They're a nice, chunky black boot that I feel are going to be a good staple. I sized up to a Euro 40, which I think is like a six and a half to seven uh, because let's face it with boots I tend to wear three pairs of cozy socks so um, I always tend to size up in boots I love these I think they're really well made they are $39.99 which for a good staple autumn winter boot and black is the most wearable I find okay moving on are you ready for this I've got a bit of color coming up if this is an autumn in a color then I don't know what is. How beautiful is this rusty burnt orange kind of tone? This to me screams autumn, which <laughs> we all know I'm obsessed with because I keep going on about it. I've seen that they've been doing loads of pajama style sets. They look like pajamas, like silky pajamas, but they're designed to be worn out. So I don't know how I feel about this look. I don't know if I can pull it off. I don't know if I'm brave enough, but on other people, I do love it. So anyway, the bottoms are ruched like so around the waist. In fact, what size did I go for? A medium, $25.99 for the bottoms. I don't know if these are gonna be a bit big around the waist, we'll see. Um, and then they're just a really simple wide leg all the way to the floor with a little slit at the bottom of the leg. And the top is like a pajama style shirt, like with a little collar. It is short sleeved or like kind of elbow length. <laughs> really nice and oversized and boxy. I did get a medium in this one as well. Again at $25.99. Needs a bit of a steam so let's just ignore that. Let's try it on first. Make sure I actually like this look. I'm thinking this is like a date night outfit. Definitely evening vibes for drinks, cocktails. <sighs> But then will people think I'm in my pyjamas? I feel like this is definitely going to be a hit on this with a lot of people. These pants would look beautiful with just a plain and simple white bodysuit for an evening with some heels. And then equally you could wear this shirt with just some high-waisted jeans kind of tucked in. And some chunky black boots for autumn. That could be a really nice outfit. So whether or not I'd wear them together I don't know. But as separates even still I just... 
I love them and the fabric is beautiful. I got another silky satiny set this time in a beautiful champagne kind of colour and this time the bottom half are shorts. So this is definitely more dressy or better suited maybe to a summer's holiday than an evening. So they're quite nice and structured these shorts like a tailored kind of fit with the pocket details on the back. I did get the shorts in a medium and they were only 9 99 Again, with a white bodysuit on holiday with sandals just for a nice dressier bottom half and equally the collared shirt could be worn um, tucked in to some high-waisted jeans or oh, these would be really nice with some leather pants as well I feel. Leather pants and some heels, barely bare heels. The top I also got in a medium and the top was 19 99 So pretty good price point for this set I feel. The next co-ord set that I got back to black. This material is much more of a linen-y lounge type fabric, really soft and comfy. The top to this I got in a medium at $29.99 and it's got a really nice neckline. I love that kind of open neck style. Really boxy and oversized fit, nice and comfy and lounge appropriate. As are the bottom half, again that kind of linen-y fabric, much more thinner, lightweight, there are pockets and a cinch in drawstring waist as well. I did pick up the bottoms in a small. The bottoms for this set were $29.99. I don't really have any linen pants or top in black. Okay, let's go with a bit of green now. I picked up two sets in green. This set is far more khaki and this one is more of like an olive khaki, light khaki. So the top half to this set is actually a bodysuit. It's got popper bottoms, which is nice and easy. And it's just kind of like a swimsuit style body. You know, very simple. It's a ribbed fabric, ribbed knit. I did get a small in this one. The bodysuit was $12.99, which is like a standard price point for Zara bodysuits. Bit annoyed that it's a full brief and not a thong, because I feel like thongs are more wearable in terms of not being able to see any VPL. And then the bottom half to this set are high-waisted, wide leg. Again, that same rib knit. I love a wide leg pant. I feel like these are so flattering. I got the bottoms in a small because yet again, they're super, super stretchy and forgiving. And the fact that it's a wide leg, I tend to opt for a smaller size so that it fits around my waist. And these bottoms were only $17.99. Okay, let's move on to the next green set. Now these are from the Limitless Contour range which I own so many items from because I love it in fact I'm wearing a body underneath this jumper from, from the Limitless Contour range. So I opted for the little crop top this time round, it's kind of like a bralette style, good for layering again. Quite a nice autumnal shade. See there's the branding for Limitless Contour, I just love it, it's full of this stretchy thick ribbed fabric. So I actually already own these leggings in black and live in them. So I opted for the khaki as well. $15.99 these leggings are. Now I wear a, well I got a medium to large because they only do two sizes in these leggings, either extra small to small or medium to large. My black ones are also medium to large and they're absolutely fine. I probably wear this set around the house with a big chunky thick cream open cardigan on thrown over the top for ultimate comfy vibes. Okay, I have another short set now, and this time we are in black, and it's not a satiny, silky material, this one, but it is super soft and quite dressy, the fabric. I don't know how to describe it, because I'm rubbish at describing fabrics. I got the bottoms in a medium at 19.99, but at least 75% of lensing modal whatever that is. So yeah, that is what the shorts are like. Again, little short shorts, perfect for an evening. There's pocket details on the front. And I love the oversized fit of the blouse top part to this. Just tucked into these shorts, but equally as separates, these would work really, really nice. The top I also got in a medium at $25.99. Nice and simple, timeless, love it. And the last of the loungewear sets and the last items to share with you in this Zara haul is this. I mean, this is pretty much my wardrobe, this colour. 50 shades of beige. The top I got in a medium at 12 .99. It's kind of like a vest style. It is a really thin knit, 
super super soft this one quite long line vest as well this one so i probably would wear it tucked into the pants which are again that high-waisted wide leg so super comfy for just round the house lounging in this is exactly when i would wear this set i did get the bottoms in a medium this time 17.99 the bottoms were to be completely honest with you i don't know if yeah these are probably too thin for me to be comfortable wearing these out to the house um well i don't know actually maybe with like a nice white bodysuit i don't know i think to be honest with you i would just wear these lounging around the house but obviously the vest part the top half you could definitely wear as just like a casual everyday vest with some jeans or leather leggings because it is quite long it would be quite nice with my leather leggings from top shop i'm thinking yeah i love this set it's probably out of all of them the one that i would wear the most because it is just the most practical everyday throw on which let's face it i work from home so i live in loungewear pretty much 24 7 24 6 let's say because there's bound to be one day of the week that i actually venture out the house so that is everything that i picked up from zara my first autumn zara haul i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much to case to fire for very kindly sponsoring today's video don't forget to check out the link in the description box if you want to save 20 percent off your very own phone case thank you so so much for joining me today and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys